The Latin Times is reporting on the personal story of a Marine vet named Ivana Rodriguez, who served two tours in Iraq and Afghanistan and is now having to fight just to stay in the U.S. This is a really, really sad story. They say, quote, like many combat vets, Rodriguez struggles with PTSD, a psychological trauma that resulted from his service. Like some of his peers, Rodriguez turned towards marijuana to help with PTSD. Unlike other veterans, though, Rodriguez is an immigrant born and raised in Ecuador, and now he has had to defend himself from deportation. Rodriguez told Latino USA that unlike prescribed pharmaceuticals, smoking pot would calm the feverish thoughts and dreams of combat that made it hard for him to sleep. He also said this, I would hear so many statistics of Marines and infantrymen killing themselves. It would be like 22 a day. I don't want to be part of the statistics. I would never want to escape that way. All right, that fucking breaks my heart to read this uh, because he's actually telling you. Like, yeah, you know, I turned to marijuana to possibly stop me from killing myself. And the government's like, yeah, it's nice. We're going to deport your ass. Thanks for your service. The guy fought in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, you guys know I'm against, I was against those wars. But, you know, people were duped into this, into thinking you have to do it to defend your country, and it's, you know, it's inevitable, Saddam's gonna attack, weapons of mass destruction, blah, 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 all bullshit. But these guys were the brave people who were duped, who were just answering the call of duty. So, he goes and fights for the country, and then he comes back, they're like, yeah, we're probably gonna deport you because you're a veteran who smokes marijuana. That's unreal. And think about the irony of this, man. Because what do they tell you? They go, you know, you're fighting to defend your freedom, sonny. That's what you're doing. And then he comes back and he's like, I'm going to use that freedom to put a substance in my body to make myself feel better and escape my PTSD. Like, well, you're not free to do that. So we believe in freedom except unless you actually use it. And then when you use it, we're going to deport you. Oh, no, 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 no. See, this is why I get so angry when people try to pretend like definitions don't matter and words don't mean things. There's a concept behind that that's a real thing. So if you say, I'm fighting all over the world to defend freedom, and then you restrict freedom at home, you're a fucking hypocrite. Okay, the government that does that, that is a hypocritical government, and I'd go as far as to say that's stupid. It's the same as when they say, hey, we're fighting to defend democracy. But then, you know, post, uh, or during the Cold War, what are they doing? They're having all these proxy wars against the Soviet Union. And what we would do is we would either send the CIA or send the military into uh, South America, and we'd topple governments that were democratically elected governments, whether they're socialist governments or communist governments, we'd topple them, and then we'd put in an authoritarian leader. So we'd put a dictator in place. We'd go in, invade a country, get rid of a democratic regime, and put a dictator in place. And then go and tell the world, we're defending democracy all around the world. You just did the opposite of that. You took out the democratic leader. You put in a, a dictator. That's not defending democracy. It's the same thing here. It's like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and defend freedom around the world. And then when you try to use your freedom at home, we're going to we're gonna deport you because you did that. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Pick one. Pick one. Either say we're not actually defending freedom. Say we're not defending democracy. Or, if you say it, fucking do it! Abide by it! It drives me crazy, and everybody, you know, when the propaganda is so deep in there, nobody's talking about this. Nobody's talking about this. Again, there was, in the Latin Times spoke about it, credit to them, Crooks and Liars had a piece on it. But other than that, who the fuck's talking about this? Who's calling out the OBVIOUS bullshit? We believe in freedom except we'll deport you even if you served your country just because you got high because you had PTSD. That's sheer lunacy! It is an embarrassment to this nation that this is the case, and that this poor guy even has to fight back against this. He shouldn't have to have that fucking headache. The fact that he even has to spend a second worrying about this drives me up a fucking wall. Let him go. Not only should you apologize to him, you should give him free weed as treatment for the rest of his life and shut the fuck up about it.